Hello and welcome to the Fairy Little Podcast. My name is Marcia and I am your host today. I am coming to you from the sunny slash cl- uh, cloudy slash smoky Okanagan Valley in British Columbia, Canada. And this is a knitting podcast. I'm so happy to join you guys today. It has been too long. Um, some stuff happened, things went sideways, and uh, I'm back. So it's good. Um, I'll get into a, li- a little bit at the end what, why the, there was a delay in the podcast uh, for those of you who aren't interested. And uh, welcome to everybody who is returning and welcome, welcome to anybody who is new. The podcast has reached over 4,000 subscribers. Yay! So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet but find yourself returning, just hit that little subscribe button and you'll be notified if there's a new podcast up. Um, I usually post every two weeks, but uh, over the summer, obviously it gets a little hectic and crazy, so that hasn't been the norm. Um, So hopefully into, into September, we'll be getting back onto a nice schedule. I'm going to do a 4,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm going to give away this beautiful yarn. Woohoo! It is Hydro Designs Old World, World Elegance for Modern Knitters and this was a gift sent to me and I would love to pass it on to one of you. It is a three-ply fingering weight. It's in the Sienna colorway, 100% superwash merino and it's 485 yards. So and it's gorgeous. There's so many pops of color in there and it is so fun. And I think that this is a perfect, perfect giveaway prize for our lovely podcast giveaway for reaching 4,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you again so much. Um, I'll put a link down below to the Ravelry group and I will have a, a question or something in there and then you can enter for your chance to win skein of yarn. I will just go over a little bit of admin stuff and then we'll get into the knitting. So I'm co-hosting a knit along with the Relentless Knitting podcast. They are um, an audio podcast and you can find them on iTunes and they are doing a Stash to Gifts knit knit along. So I'm hosting uh, a thread but all of the prizes and everything will go through their podcast which in the Ravelry group all of that information is there and you can link right to them from that podcast. So that's happening. I'm also a, also have a thread open for uh, a Knit City um, sweater cal for those of you who are going to Knit City, which I am, uh, then you can knit a sweater and put uh, go in in there and they have a link to their actual thread and there's lots of um, designers who are giving discounts on their designs and that sort of thing. So definitely a couple fun things going on so you can join in. The final thing is I have a knit along going on that I'm hosting and I'm giving away the prize as well and that is for my new design which is the Sorrento shawl. Sorrento shawl there and here. This is hard. (laughs) Leaning over the wrong way. Um, So the Sorrento shawl and it is a knit along uh, introducing my new new design. There's also, it's there's two knit alongs kind of going along at the same time. It started August 1st and goes to the middle of September and uh, and it is to welcome my new design as well as there is also a knit along uh, of the Sorrento shawl for those of you who are going to the Sorrento retreat next year. So there will be a thread opened for that as well and that will go on for the year until until Sorrento and that's um there's not going to be any prizes in that thread uh but it's just going to be part of the the that's just a knit along knit along and the one that has prizes started August 1st and it goes until September mid-September so super excited about that and as I promised there is a bumper prize so when I went to New Denver uh I was speaking with a couple different um yarny lovelies <laughs> and uh, I was offered up a couple different prizes and uh, so I'm just going to crack into it. So this beautiful bag was donated for the prize 
uh, from Fo Frog Peak Creations, who is Monique, and you can find her on Etsy at uh, www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Frog Peak Creations. Words are hard sometimes. And this beautiful bag has fairies on it. And, uh, and it also has like little sparkles in it. So that is the first part of the prize. The next part of the prize is waiting inside. So I have a copy of the Elizabeth Zimmerman's Knitter's Almanac, which is part of this beautiful prize. And this is amazing. There's so much great information in this little book. And so I'm super happy to be passing that on to you. There is a pair of Chow Goose premium stainless steel needles in here that I got purchased from our local yarn store for you to give a try. And uh, they are size nine, which is 5.5 millimeters. And they are just uh, a size that I find I use all the time. So I just wanted to pass on uh, this to you as well. And the next part of this prize is some beautiful stitch markers that I purchased at our yarn shop and it's Two Sticks and You, handmade in Canada. And it's also on Etsy as well. And those stitch markers have a cute little maple leaf on them and they're very maple tree in the autumn uh, colors. So I'm very excited about those. They're very beautiful. I'm just taking off price tags here <laughs> as we speak. Which I should have done already. Oh well. <laughs> um, and the next thing is, and I've had this for a little while, I purchased this, um, I purchased uh, some stitch markers and progress keepers um, from uh, URTN Rackies, um, who is, uh, who makes, makes little stitch markers and progress keepers. But after I ordered them and they came in, I put them aside to remember to talk about them and then I never talked about them. So she also sent me, so her name is uh, Jing Tao and uh, she is on Etsy. So this is www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash URT lowercase n rackies. So I'll put that down there. But I've already, I did, I did open it. Her packaging was very lovely, but I wanted to show you what this, what this looks like. So she uh, donated this as a prize. And I also, I'd also ordered um, some other, some other things through her. So she just threw this in as an extra and for a prize for the podcast. And it is a little fortune cookie and it's a uh, Tiffany's inspired charm and it's, so it's a progress keeper but it's a little fortune cookie in the Tiffany's color and it's got a little um, little sparkly bit there if you can see it yeah so this is going to be in this beautiful prize package as well and the final thing is um, Kathy who is running the event at uh, New Denver she gave me a skein of yarn she let me choose a skein of yarn to give away as a prize. And I chose this Hedgehog Fiber Sock Yarn in the Crew Baby colorway. And isn't that great? Oh my goodness, there's so much color in there, so many speckles. I love this. It was between this one and another one and I just, I chose this one and I felt like it went really nicely with the the project bag and it's just so pretty and it's hedgehog fibers which I've never knit with so this is this is awesome so thank you to everybody who sent a sent a donation uh, for this prize and this is going to go to the winner of the Sorrento Cal knit along which will end at um, in the middle of September so let's put all this back together and it's a great prize. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited I get to send this to one of you because I feel like you're just going to love it so much. There we go. I don't want to bend the book. So that's that. 
Shall we get into the knitting now? So I have been designing like crazy, so there's some things I can't show you, but um, some things I can show you are some things that I finished. The first finished object I have is my Sorrento shawl. So um, after kind of the other foot dropped this summer, I needed something to knit that would make me happy and just bring me joy and joy and happiness is what I was seeking and I needed something that was easy to knit and just relaxing and beautiful with some beautiful yarns. So I came down here and I pulled out a bunch of different yarns and started mixing and matching and I settled on these three indie dyed yarns. They are stunning, 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 stunning. The first one is the pink that's at the very top. This is how much I have, have left and this is if you've seen Molly from a homespun house, this is her yarn. So this is the in the Dorheim uh, base fingering and it's in the blush colorway and it's 50% baby alpaca, 50% BFL. There's 475 meters, 520 yards. So it is like a, a heavier lace, which I definitely noticed when I was knitting with it, but it was so just airy and beautiful to knit with the yarn is so soft and it's just it's so beautiful it kind of has a bit of a, a yellow undertone to it which you'll be able to I hope you can see in there and uh, and then the next yarn that I chose is the speckled and it looks like white and it's from my friend Kay from the bakery bears and it's Easter sprinkles so this one is, it's a speckly yarn, but it also has some of the color from here in it. You'll see it right there, just little flashes of it here and there. And I just thought that that was so nice that they went together so nicely, which brings us to the next color, which is Isis Fiber Arts. And it is in the dandelion colorway, so Isis Fiber Arts dandelion colorway, and it's her fingering weight yarn. And the base is, oh, I forgot to tell you what Kay's is. Uh, hers is 80% superwash BFL and 20% nylon high twist. And so this one is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. So I chose it based on color alone. I wasn't looking at yardage. I wasn't figuring out how many yards or looking at what my, my own pattern called for. So uh, I actually ended up running out of the yellow. This one, if I'd used any of the other two, I wouldn't have run out of yarn. But because, uh, because the yardage on the uh, Isis Fiber Arts is about, um, it's almost 200 less than the homespun house and it's 100 less than uh, than bakery bears. <laughs> uh, I ran out so I ended up pulling back a couple rows and up to like the beginning of one of the repeats and then I did the extra rows just straight knit in the homespun house and then I did the pico bind off with this and I loved it. It was so nice to knit with. All of these colors made me so happy. And then coming together, they just, they look so stunning and they're so bright and cheerful and just beautiful. And I did quite a bit of beach knitting with that and I enjoyed myself so much. And, um, and this is the, this design has been one of the ones that I have received so many compliments on. I've, I've had so many private messages from people saying it's so well written, they're enjoying it so much, and I just appreciate all of those beautiful comments. Um, and I'm so glad so many of you are enjoying knitting it because that would be terrible to design something that people didn't enjoy. So I'm so happy that uh, that it's out there and, and it's being knit and people are enjoying it. Um, don't forget to tag me in your posts on Instagram. I would love to see them. And I'm loving to see all of the different colors that are, are coming out. So, so yeah. So um, my next finished object is a pair of socks. And 
This is them. Da 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 da. They're so pretty. I enjoyed this yarn so much. So let me tell you what it is. It is yarn ink, art on a string, and the colorway for the blue is Looking Glass, and it's their classic sock, 463 yards. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And it is gorgeous. I have so much left because I did uh, black heels, toes, and cuffs, and I'll get there in a second. But it's got little, um, little sparks of, there's a little bit of yellow in there, and like gray, and little black, and what else is in there? There's just little pops of, yeah. Yellow, gray, black, white, blue. I'll show you on there. It might be a little, little clearer. So I did these with um, an afterthought heel. These I knit doing the magic loop, and it's a two by two rib on the top. And the afterthought heel wasn't a true afterthought. I put yarn in there to, to keep my space. Which made it really simple um, and the yarn I used for the heels toes and cuffs is opal uh, and it's the sock it's uh, and it's just in the black let me see opal uni and it's 75% superwash wool 25% polyamide yeah, it's just black Black, black, black. Which is really good to have um, something like this because for those times when you don't have quite enough yarn, it's great. If you want to do contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs, it's great. And, uh, or if you want to just do black socks, you could do that. I probably would not, but you could. It was so nice to knit with, and I wanted to save as much of this yarn as I possibly could because I love it so much. And these are uh, a gift for a friend. So she's going to be getting these. She's away right now. She's actually in England. But when she gets back, she's going to be getting these as her birthday present, which was a month ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are, this yarn is amazing. So, and I love this yarn so much. I got a hold of the owner and Alicia and I sent her a message. <laughs> And I said, I want some more of this, please, and thank you very much. And of course, she's getting, she's busy getting ready for Knit City and, and such. But um, I just asked her if she would mind putting some aside for me, and I'll just pay her whatever before I get there so that it's, so she doesn't have to worry about thinking she's putting something aside that's not going to actually sell. But um, yeah, so super excited with, about that. And I'm actually getting a sweater's worth of this yarn because I love it so much. And I'm so excited about having it. So, um, and I knit those socks two at a time. And I actually did this yarn is a set center pull ball and and an outside pull ball. Where's the? I don't know where I put the outside one. <laughs> there it is. So I can pull from the inside and from the outside, which was it was fine. It was a little bit tight um, because I wound it by hand, um, but. It still worked out perfectly, so I'm very happy with that. So if you go um, onto Yarn Ink, they actually have a website. It's www.yarninc.com. They don't have a lot in their shop right now, and they might even be sold out by this point, but they will be at Knit City. So very excited about that. So let's talk about Knit City for a second. So I registered for Knit City. I'm so excited and I'm going to be in Stephen West's class for, it's a shawl knitting class, I do believe. It doesn't even matter because I'm in Stephen West's class and I'm very happy about that. It's on the Saturday afternoon is the class that I have registered for and it's the only one I registered for. I'm planning on hanging out and relaxing and taking my time in the market which I didn't do last time I like zipped through got everything I needed super fast and then went to my class um, and this time I I just want to engulf myself in the experience so that is happening at the end of September I'm so 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 excited about it and then you guys and that's Vancouver by the way 
Then <laughs> I am going to be at Rhinebeck. Can you believe it? I'm going to Rhinebeck. And it was, I was planning on it last year um, and and I was really excited and then the beginning of this year started to, things started happening and I became very anxious about the idea of going to, to New York. I've never been to New York. It is a massive city <laughs> and I would be going through New York by myself. So that makes me very, very anxious. So I know it's going to be okay. Uh, my lovely friend Mina is going to meet up with me the night I get there, which is super amazing. And I'm so excited to spend some time with her and actually meet face to face. And that's going to be the most exciting thing for me out of this whole thing is meeting everybody face to face. Like, um, because when I go to the West Coast Knit City, it's um, the people that come there live around the area, right? And and for Rhinebeck, it's kind of the same thing. There are people that, that do travel that distance, but I'm traveling across the entire country to go to um, Rhinebeck. So I'm very excited. It's, uh, it's kind of an expensive adventure for me. <laughs> But I do believe it will be definitely worth it. Um, and I'm going to be staying with somebody, um, another podcaster, uh, Sarah, the Canadian knitter. And, and we're going to be staying with somebody else as well. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and we are going to be driving into Rhinebeck together. Um, I, I will be flying into New York and then taking the train the following morning into Rhinebeck. So if anybody's taking the train on Friday morning from the city, from the city, <laughs> from New York into Rhinebeck, um, if you want to hang out on the train and knit together, I would totally be down for that and I would love every second of it. And um, yeah, I'm so looking forward to it and I can't stop smiling about it. Every time I think about it, I just get this uh, excited energy bubble because I'm so excited to go and uh, I'm really excited to, that I get the opportunity to meet so many of you so many podcasters that I've watched for such a long time um, and and some of you that I've just seen for a short time and also all of you that have watched my podcast and and interact with me and I, I can't wait to meet you either like I'm just I'm so excited about the whole event I'm probably going to be fangirling all over the place or else get super overwhelmed and just get really quiet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen yet, but uh, but I'm really excited. I'm going to be bringing pins, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'll have some left after Knit City. Be bringing some fairy little pins and uh, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. So I can't wait to, to see you, meet you, knit with you. It's going to be great. There have been some stash enhancements in my life. I am not going to lie. My knitting, um, my yarn diet has come to an end. Yeah, it has. <laughs> in a bit of a big way. I'm not going to go into everything right now, but I'm going to go into a couple things that I would definitely love to share with you. Um, so one of the things that I have actually, this was a prize that I won from a draw that was done on Instagram by um, uh, it's YouTube Bob Wilson and her name is Claire and it was for some crochet hooks. So she sent me this beautiful set of clover crochet hooks all the different sizes and all the different colors which I'm super excited about they are all um, like comfortable pull them out they all have a really nice soft rubber grip so and a wider grip which makes it easier on your hands so your hands don't cramp but I'm really excited about these. I use knitting needles a lot when I drop stitches. That's what I use to pick up my stitches. So I'm very happy with these and it's a full set. So um, up to six millimeter and the smallest one here is 2.25 millimeter, which is a B to a J. 
is the sizing. There's 10 sizes. So I'm really excited about that. That's the first time I've opened this. So now I can actually open it and put away, put it away. And this cute little pencil came with it with animals on it. Wombat, crocodile, and it's Australia because that's where she's from. And a couple little pins, which are really cute. And these cute little owl stickers are adorable and I love them and they're going to go into my journal and this I love Sydney pencil case which is super exciting <laughs> pretty happy about this this will be great for putting all my little notions and stuff especially for traveling that's such a great idea for my big trips that are coming up so thank you so much, Claire, for that. I really appreciate it. And I was so excited to win because doing this, I don't have time to enter in, into a lot of things and I don't, don't usually win. So even though I do prizes, that's why I get so excited when I'm doing prizes for other people because I know how excited I get when I get a prize. <laughs> so that's why I so enjoy that. Um, so this is, Moving on, <laughs> uh, I was speaking about the um, the Progress Keeper that I showed you, and this is one of the ones that I ordered, and I haven't used it yet because I wanted to make sure that it was still in perfect condition. So this is one of the ones that I ordered that she sent me in with the uh, the gift one that she sent for a giveaway. And it's this little sushi one and I just love it so much I just we eat sushi every Friday uh, my my husband's heritage is Japanese so this just makes my heart so happy and uh, yeah we eat a lot of sushi so this just like oh, it's so cute and it's so well made I can't believe like even the color definition is just it's right on so some other things I've been doing is I'm going to be teaching a brioche class. So this has to do with more uh, acquisitions. I'm going to be teaching a brioche class in May in Sorrento when we go. And so I have, I've been taking a craftsy brioche class because I want to make sure that I cover all of my bases and that I don't forget anything and that I can figure out what's kind of things I like and um, what I would sort of information I'd like to include for mine and so I also got these two um, DVDs and they're knit workshops and they were on sale um, at Knitting Daily uh, and they were like four dollars each or something and we have a DVD player still so I'm going to be using those as well as I have been collecting um, books on knitting brioche and this one's the Nancy Marchand one she teaches the class on the craftsy as well so I thought that that was really good to, to have that as well and this book is uh, called Brioche Chic 22 Fresh Knits for Women and Men and I have borrowed it from the library so many times I thought that I should just buy it and then I can write in the margins and it's not a big deal but there's some really cool um, there's some really cool information in here that I really like so and it's laid out really well so um, so those are a couple of my those are a couple of my acquisitions so um, I have a couple more that I want to show you so the other day I was on Etsy and we know how dangerous that can be we know it yet we do it and I'm happy I did <laughs> So I was on there and I was on, um, so what happened is I was on Instagram, that's where it starts, that's where everything starts, that's where it all starts. <laughs> that's where we feed the, the need, I feel like. Um, so I was on Instagram and Noble Ruby Designs posted some photos of some yarn. And I was like, I'm going to jump down that rabbit hole right now. So I went and I looked at her Etsy shop. And I ended up getting some yarn. So I'm gonna show it to you in the packaging because it came so cool. And then I haven't opened it yet, so I don't even know what this yarn feels like. So this is gonna be happening right now. Um, Noble Ruby Yarns, hand-dyed yarn, two-ply fingering, super wash merino, 
20% nylon, 400 yards, and it's from Manitoba, Brit uh, Manitoba, British Columbia. No, it's not. It's from Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> and it's in the You Look Marvelous colorway. And Noble Ruby's Designs at mymts.net. Uh, and it's, it is on Etsy, noblerubydesigns.etsy.com. So that is the first one. So pretty, and it's got a bit of a like grayish background color, and then splotches of purple spots, <laughs> speckles, and uh, and pinkish, pinkish and purplish. And she asked me if I wanted it, uh, or she has a message on there if you want it um, vacuum packed. That she gives you that option, and it cuts shipping way down. So the second one is Superwash Merino, 80%, 10% cashmere and 10% nylon and it's 400 yards and it's called Do Something Happy. So I did something happy and I ordered this and it is so pretty. It's got all of the green speckles, yellow speckles, purple, pink, uh, blue, um, and then the white base and it's so happy. So happy! So I did something happy. And the final one is called Party at My House and it's a two ply fingering, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% silver Stellina. So you can't really see the Stellina in this one, but when I pull it out, you will be able to. So that's it all vacuum packed, nice and tight. Look at all those speckles pretty cool way to be able to see it but okay let's go into this first this one's not vacuum packed as tightly as the other ones And made me swallow because <laughs> it's so pretty oh my goodness that's gorgeous little bits of blue in there oh that's so nice you guys and it's so soft so I'm just going to skein it up and this is the one called you look marvelous and it looks marvelous so I'm gonna put that in there so I don't lose it So oh, pretty. Yum. Okay, the next one I'm going to open is the second one. Now I'm just going to use my scissors this time instead of my face. I've got these little scissors I got from the sewing store. And this is the Do Something Happy. is nice this one is the cashmere blend look at that you guys those speckles are so good oh my goodness so happy that this is in my life because I did something happy oh my goodness that is beautiful stunning 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 Oh, and it's cashmere blend. That's going to be something lovely. Oh, I'll look straight to you all. So pretty. The next one is, I should have done that a little bit tighter. Well, I'll fix it later. The next one is the party at my house. Now you can see the Stellina. It is so pretty. It's a very subtle gold Stellina in there. 
Can you see that sparkle now? I don't know if you can. Oh, it's very, very pretty though. It just, look at those speckles. This is so gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh, so pretty. So those are now in my beautiful collection of loveliness. And I'm so happy they are. Um, and they are spectacular. So if you are looking for to spend your money on something, <laughs> this is a great place to do it. Oh, they're so pretty. Can't believe that. I'm just going to do redo this one right now. They're so beautiful. And this cashmere. I am totally in love with cashmere right now. I can't even tell you how much I love cashmere. <laughs> There we go. All right. There, that's better. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hey, you guys. I have these cool little stickers. Ha ha, there it goes. <laughs> oh my, that makes my heart way too happy, that one. Okay, so I'll just do this up quickly. So while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna tell you guys, my sister is moving. She is going back to Victoria because she is going for her PhD. And I'm super proud and excited for her. Um, I am definitely going to miss her. We talk to each other every single day because she lives with us. But um, that's going to continue when she lives there. But it's just, a, it's just I'm gonna miss seeing her every day. Cause she's fabulous. She's the best sister I've ever had. So, yeah, but the plan is, is that, and this is my plan, that after she moves out, I'm going to um, take over the suite downstairs and we're thinking we're not going to move. So we'll put that out there right away because the house that I was looking for is essentially the house that we have, but on bigger property. And that's just not available right now. So we are just going to cool our heels and I am going to turn the suite into, it's going to be a master suite. We're going to add an extra bathroom probably, uh, a walk-in closet and, and I'm going to do a lot of the work uh, by myself while my husband's away and then I'm going to surprise him. So that's coming up. I'm going to do a lot of it in September um, and and October and a little bit of November and hopefully, fingers crossed, it gets done before Christmas. So very excited about that. I do have a few more acquisitions but I wanted to, I'll let's save that for another episode, but I wanted to mention, um, I do have somebody who is going to be finishing this little cross stitch. I talked about it on a previous um, episode and it was one of my mom's pieces that she was working on before she passed away and it's not finished. And uh, I had a heck of a time finding somebody who would ship the pattern to Canada. It was so hard. Finally, I found somebody who will ship it to Canada. So that just happened today and it's going to be here in the next three weeks <laughs> and then I can send it out to the person who's going to finish that for me which I'm super excited about that 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 is going to be finished and then I'm going to um, take it in and have it framed and everything I'll probably have to have it cleaned too um, just because it's been in storage for a while so it's a little bit has a little bit of dust on it so um, yeah so that's it for the knitting and the what I'm finished and that sort of thing. So if you're not interested in um, the little bits of my life that I'm going to go into now, then thanks for coming and for the rest of you. So this summer has been crazy hard. Uh, there has been a ton of fires in our province and a lot of people I know and love were on and still are on evacuation notice or have been evacuated. 
Some of them are returning home now. Um, some major highways were closed, so there was no access to get to that area of BC from the south, um, unless you went way around. And the other thing um, that really, uh, it knocked my feet out from under me was uh, a childhood friend of mine um, who'd been battling mental illness, who nobody realized he was suffering to the point he was, and uh, he took his own life. And for me, that was really, really hard. He was somebody for me who, um, who gave me a little bit of normalcy in my childhood. Um, and I'm not gonna get into all of the if ends and wherefores of, of that, but he was somebody who was there for me when there were, weren't many people there for me. So um, it was just nice knowing he was there in the world and that he was happy, but it turned out he wasn't and now he's not. So it was very hard for me and now I can finally um, talk about it without crying, think about it without crying and be able to talk to you guys um, about like even knitting <laughs> so I can, you know, be me. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted just to say, you know, this, this summer was really tough and I want to say thank you to everybody who has contacted me and said they're thinking of me and, um, and thank you so much for understanding that I had to step away from the podcast for a few weeks because, um, because this, it was just really, really hard for me and, uh, and I really needed, um, some time just to get my feet back on the ground and, um, and process. So, um, and I wanted to say if, if you are a silent sufferer, please reach out to somebody, please talk to somebody. Um, there's, there is somebody out there and if you don't feel like there's somebody close to you, then this knitting community is so connected. There's somebody here that you can talk to. There's somebody that you can reach out to, even if it's the like, you need you need somebody you can even contact me like if you just need somebody to tell you things are going to be okay because things are going to be okay everything you're going through will pass n n nothing is forever so the good things and the bad things they they come and go and and you know there's a lot of people out there who can offer support and I just want to make sure that that you are all feeling supported and loved and cherished and know that you are valuable, that you there's a reason for you to be in existence. There is a purpose for you and there are people out there that care about you, whether you can see them or not. My friend and I didn't talk and and his sister and I actually talk more than he and I did in the past decade. And I would have loved for him to have said something to me so that I could have helped him through that. And I don't want anybody else to um, feel like there's nobody out there. There is somebody out there, even if it's just me. <laughs> so um, that's it for me for today. I hope you have a beautiful day, a great weekend. Um, I, I'm really happy that the summer's been coming to a close and that it's coming into autumn. I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to wear all the knits. And you guys, I have some designs that are coming out that are, I'm so excited about them. So, so, so excited about them. And I can't wait to share them with, with you. And I think that, I think that you guys might like them. I think so. <laughs> okay, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope you have a great week, great rest of your summer. Um, I will see you soon. I can't, I'm not sure when, but I'll see you soon. And until next time.
So, I'll just get rid of the... Uh, just <clears throat> some things where they're finished. The first finished object... Um, um, Manitoba, Brit uh, Manitoba, British Columbia. No, it's not. It's